and another venue bites the dust. The 1996, like many Olympic venues, has fallen out of favor. I'm speaking, of course, the tennis court of the 1996 Olympic Games, where Andre Agassi and Lindsay Davenport won gold. It has been there for 25 years, and they cite the reasons for closing it, even though it's something they don't take lightly. The reasons stated is because of stolen copper and safety and health issues. It was closed in 2007, and it's become quite a liability for people coming in shooting videos of sorts, even though there are barbed wire and no trespasser signs all around the, the venue. Another example is the Centennial Olympic Stadium, which used to house 85,000 people with the opening and closing ceremonies to 50,000 for the Atlanta Braves and now 25,000 for Georgia State football. The Georgia Dome, which saw its last Atlanta Falcons game, which used to host the gymnastic games, is now going to be demolished soon as well. And the most upsetting is the Herodome Stadium, which housed 15,000 people for hockey games, has been get, gutted, vandalized, covered in graffiti and trash. I guess all good things do have to come to an end at some point. As of now, many of the venues are boarded up, empty, with no tenants or income, with maintenance costs being dumped down the government. There seems to be no planning. When they put the bid up, says Leandro Medidri, it's estimated that Rio spent over $12 billion cost cutting poor attendance and even bidding and corruption for the building of certain facilities. Heritage Jaca, which is the largest of the venues, planned to turn it into a public park and swimming area for mostly the poor. It is now closed. The arena venue where they had handball was supposed to be a place where they chopped it up and made it a place for schools. The bills are still piling up even after nine months, which the organizing committee owes $30 million and 137 medals, which are rusting. If insult to injury wasn't bad enough for Brazil, it seems like the Olympic medals are also deteriorating. 2021 medals were awarded in Rio. It seems like 6 or 7 percent of them are a bit defective. That's around 121 and 141 medals. Athletes saying they've seen unsightly stain, they've been dropped or mishandled, the varnish comes off, either rusted or gone black in the damaged area, or the coverings are falling away. Many of the bronze medals and tarnished medals were awarded to Americans. I guess that's what we get for Ryan Lochte's mistake. The Brazilian Mint and the IOC are working together to either repair or replace those defective metals.